Hey, this is Mark at the London Comic Con. I'm here with Vaughn Babison. He was one of the special effects guys on The Thing. How you doing, bud? I'm having a great time. Loving being here, for sure. Tell me, what part did you have in the special effects in the movie The Thing? Well, I worked with the mechanical effects crew under Roy Arbogast. He was a coordinator that I had worked with on a couple of films before. And when he came back on the lot at Universal, he said, do you want to be a part of this movie? And I said, yes, I do. So I had the pleasure of working for him for seven months, doing all the explosions, the body burn, Palmer body burn, all the breakaway stuff. And after the crew went to British Columbia, unfortunately, he could only take a skeleton crew with him. So I didn't get to go to British Columbia, but that was only three and a half weeks of work. From that point, I went to work with uh, Botine's crew, Rob Botine's crew, uh, at the Heartland facility. The guys that came back from British Columbia got laid off after three and a half weeks. I got six more months of work. <laughs> so it was really awesome. <laughs> what, what effect in the movie was your favorite? Oh my gosh, the Blair creature, the Blair monster. He was the final one who blows through the floorboards. He was eight foot tall and he stood on a six foot scaffolding because it had to be lifted that high in the air because we had 43 men that controlled that final creature. I mean, every eyeball that rolled, every eyebrow that went up and down or facial expression was all a single guy on a toggle switch <laughs> or, or the dog creature that comes out of his belly at the end. That's, that's one guy holding the dog and he's sitting on a cart and like four guys are pushing him forward. <laughs> So it was just a mass of humanity trying to stay out of each other's way while we were controlling whatever, moving an arm, you know. Did you get to work with Carpenter at all? Well, yeah, I mean, I, I got to more observe him than really work with him because, you know, I was closer to the lowest man on the totem pole and, of course, Cundy and Carpenter were the brains behind the entire vision. So, but I got to witness a true genius at work. He was, it, it was the most creative crew I had ever worked on on any movie I've worked on because of just all the artistic creativity that went into every aspect of the picture. It was just remarkable. That's great. Well, it was a pleasure talking to you, Yvonne, and glad to meet you.